Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby right here in the middle of a forest that I don't even know the name. Karura Forest. Oh, I'm so sorry. The name is Karura Forest here <laughs> in Nairobi, Kenya. But you know what? I used to be a controversial vlogger, <laughs> but this time Dr. Mumbi took over. No, when were you controversial? No, when I was in China, I was so controversial. So, so what co happened? Like I, I speak my mind and go and sleep and the... When I woke up, thousand comments. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, but what happened? Well, no, you came uh, to Africa. No, I, I just want to stay positive, spread love. You know, it, it's time to spread the love to the world because the world needs love. You know what I mean? The world needs love and the world needs truth, what am I? Oh. The world needs okay, so, love. So, but I love what you're doing. I'm, I love okay, so, like so this is how it is. <laughs> I'm spreading love and Dr. Mumbi is spreading the truth. Yes. So together, it's like a, we're covering all the bases. Thank you so much. Why do you love being controversial that's the first question well you know for me really my theme is wake up africa and i don't know if people actually think that i do take that very very seriously and i think one of the things that us as africans hold us back is we, we're so afraid i think it's in our upbringing the mix of culture and education where mm. you couldn't question anything you couldn't question elders everything you were told you took at face value so my only point is to kind of trigger you to think in a totally different way wow. and to make you emotional I mean, if you're getting emotional, it says a lot more about you than it says about me. No, you're not making it. Because some people will write me long letters and I'm like, wow, like this is so about you. If I could give you a little counseling session, you know, I could unlock some things in your life. But yeah. If you are watching this video for the first time, her name is Dr. Mumbi. And she has a show on YouTube called Dr. Mumbi Show. Let's talk Africa. Yeah. You're about to wake up Africa right now. But Dr. Mumbi, this video, I'm not the one who is going to ask you the questions. I actually posted on my community. So these questions are from my subscribers and also your subscribers. Wait, my subscribers to your community tab to get Yeah, because questions. anyone who asks a question here definitely watch your video. So yeah. you know what? These questions are not from me. Okay. First Why question. Are you being so defensive? No, no, no. I mean, like I, I'm here to represent okay. a lot of people out there. Because okay. you know, Demai, I don't do interviews. Me, I'm like. And no worry. I got you. I got, you. I okay. got you. I got okay. you. First question. This question has the popular, you know, likes. Yeah. The number of likes is a lot. Are you single, Dr. Mumbi? Oh my God, you just, you know, just... <laughs> <laughs> what, are you gonna come marry me? No, what am I? I hate I, answering I, I, that I, question. I, I just don't know, no. This, you know this, there's this... a few men who have flown to Kenya to meet me? Oh, and wow. I'm always like, are you, uh, what are you smoking? How do you rock up to a country to meet someone? Um, Yes, I am single, happily oh, well, single. I, I, I'm not looking, I'm not interested, I'm not searching, but yes, I am single. Very contently, like, single. You know, when you say single, someone thinks, oh my God, she wants to get married. No, I'm, I'm happily single. <laughs> Okay, no, no. Okay, because it, it has the like almost 30 likes in here, which okay. means a lot of people want to know. But hey, my future husband, you may be out there, so uh, <laughs> if you are, reach out. <laughs> is, it, is it supposed to be Kenyan or out of Kenya? I don't think I can marry a Kenyan. In fact, like, no, because like I was told by my Kenyan friends that once I got my PhD, I was out of the market, man. Wow. And then, you know, I'm not getting younger, so the yes. Kenyan men may not follow my interest. <laughs> this question is, I really want to know whether she's really a doctor. Yes, I have a PhD in African Women's Studies from the University of Nairobi. I graduated December 2016. Go check their records. Or do you want me to bring my, do you want me to bring my <laughs> certificate? <laughs> anyway, I'm not fine. Why am I oh! And this question, I think I got like more than five people asking. Sorry, guys, I'm being feisty. I'm uh -huh. so sorry, but this question, like five people ask. Okay. Why is she like using what the? What the? Okay, first of all, <laughs> F U C K, the original meaning is fornication under the commission of the crown. So basically, when people used that word F U C K, it basically meant like, the king has given you permission to sleep with your girlfriend, your wife, or whoever you're sleeping with. So, and I've got it, you know, and at first it was just like one or two comments, like, because it's more like to show, because I have wow, I have oh my God, and I have WTF. And you'll notice if you follow me, mm -hmm. wow is the good news. Mm -hmm. WTF is like the really bad news that I even, I don't even know how to express, because <laughs> some of this stuff is painful, you know? Yeah. So, and I was going to remove it until a few people were like, hey, if you put what WTF anymore, I'm not gonna watch your show. So I was like, okay, then I'll keep it. <laughs> you know, I'm just a rebel like that. <laughs> so sorry if it offends you, I'm not being offensive, but like you guys even check the word F and check what it means for yourselves. Dr. Okay, Mumbi, um, yeah. next question is, um, you are not scared of Kenyan politicians, even the president? People are saying like you bash 
politicians a lot. Well, can I say stories for other days? <laughs> I mean, do I get one question? I can no, I mean, okay, but on a serious note, Lord, Amara, yeah. we both know that this work I'm doing is very risky. Even you traveling around Africa is very risky. Very. And you're trying to do the positive side, exactly. you know? And you guys watch my channel because I'm going to be interviewing Wadamai as well. Mm. But um, my life has been under threat. Wow. They broke into my studio. They broke into, you know, my house was bugged. My computer's been bugged. So our website was taken down. I mean, this was just in 2019. You know, I get calls from, you know, some Kenyan relatives and friends who are like, you know, the government is trying to take you out. But I am so sure that I am on God's work. You know, I'm doing God's plan. And like I was always told by my grandmother, when you're doing God's plan, that's the greatest security. You know, of course, I am learning to be a bit more sensitive to the way things are. But these are not gods, you know, yeah. and and let's and I'm, I must say, I must say just in terms of bigging up Kenya, Kenya is one of the few places I could actually have a show like this. So in that in terms of that, we do have freedom of speech and I do respect that. But of course, they come after you. Let me tell you, you guys, the amount of times I fast and pray. I know someone told me I've lost weight. <laughs> no, but it's 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 a it's a serious is it, thing. Is it, is, it, is it just um, Kenya politicians or even outside Kenya or something? Yo, you know what? There's actually an ambassador from Zambia. What's that guy's name? He's a, he's an ambassador from Zambia to Ethiopia, African Union. He had actually come here to Nairobi to um, accuse me of like, you know, badly representing and was very threatening and everything. I what? must meet you and your team. You must remove the videos about Zambia. And basically it's the stories that talked about how Zambia no longer controls like the National Broadcasting Corporation and stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, the, so what I found is like there are certain countries like Zambia which are very emotional. Of course, Museveni, yeah, well, I'm not planning to go to Uganda anytime soon, but we must speak the truth and understand that if you speak the truth, you're covered, you know? No, I understand because I remember when I went to Zambia, I started talking about you to people. Hey, do you watch Dr. Mumbi? You know, like, don't talk about that woman. I was shocked. Really? But I, I wanted to tell you, but I think I forgot. Yeah, wow. really? What, because like, uh, like even the guy said, in, in Zambia, we hate Dr. Mumbi. And I was like, don't talk about it. I was like, what? That's my favorite channel. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, what am I? And, you know, and it's fine. It's fine. And there's a lot that's being done in terms of Chinese propaganda. You guys, when you lose the control of your media house, mm -hmm. like seriously, I don't think people understand. When you lose the control of your media house, you can be told anything is the truth and you'll have to believe because you're seeing it through people that look like you. How can she push the agenda of Africa while still believing in Jesus and Christianity? Who says I believe in Jesus and Christianity? That's what I see over here. You must not watch my show. Go check out Prophetic Sundays and uh, take it de take it way deeper. <laughs> yeah. How many questions do you no, guys that's have? No, a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm just picking random questions. Someone is saying that I like I like to know she's so pro-black, but sometimes I feel like she contradicts herself by being so suspicious about some of our leaders. Example, Kagame. Like, how dare you say anything bad about Kagame? Somebody's saying, how dare you? Wow. And you know, I wish I wish that person would also see how many emails I get from people who are anti-Kagame. You know, not every leader is liked. And I think one of the things we have to realize is that I can get into Kagame, but I know how much you love Rwanda, so I'm just going <laughs> to... <laughs> no, but I, I mean, I think it's also important for us to realize that mm. our presidents are CEOs. You know what I mean? We're paying them with our taxes. Whether you're paying a, like a dollar in tax or a, a hundred, well, however much you're paying, mm. they are our CEOs. And so we have to cr remove this thing. They're not kings. They're not God. So we must question them. Now, I advise everyone who thinks Kagame is amazing to just dig a little deeper into just the whole genocide and history of Rwanda. By the way, I've been invited to Rwanda. Maybe I'll go this year. Dr. Mumbi? Yeah. Do you hate South Africa? No. Why? Someone is saying she hates South Africa and she doesn't understand that South Africa is the backbone of Africa. Is that person black or white? I think it's South Africa. <laughs> okay, sorry, I shouldn't even have asked that. I've seen South African flags, I don't know. <laughs> um, you guys, I don't hate anybody. I don't have time to hate. Hate is such a heavy emotion, man. Who has time to hate? Would, can I be this happy and hate? No, I don't hate any nation. And you know, there's, uh, there's certain stories I just tell. 
you know, and there's certain stories I choose not to tell. But what you see is like, I just want you guys to start to see the pattern, not only across the African continent, but in different nations. So sometimes I can report negative stuff about South Africa because it's hard to report about news. Like when I reported about the xenophobia between South Africa and Nigeria, yeah, yeah. it's hard to get it right. And there's so many opinions and, and it's the Dr. Mumbi show. Mm -hmm. So it's about my opinion, exactly. but a well-researched one. People are saying you contradict yourself so much. Like I'm getting a lot of this. So tell her, tell her she needs to step back, take a deep breath, reflect, figure out her own lane, then come back. She contradicts herself a lot. We love her though. Africa for Africans. Stop watching. <laughs> you, you guys, you know what? Like five billion GB. I think it's five billion GBs are added every ten seconds. Like there's two hundred hours. So if if we, if someone is not fulfilling you on YouTube, mm. go find your tribe. You know. But I don't contradict myself. I think we have to look at news. I'm telling news. It's not me telling my own personal story. But you know. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. You know that's the thing. You you know that's the thing about YouTube. It's so amazing because we're our own bosses, Wodemaya. Exactly. And um, somebody is saying, if I see Doctor Mumbi, tell her please, I need five dollars. Can you? <laughs> Why not? Five dollars for one. Why not? Why not? <laughs> is five dollars gonna change your life? Do you want me to give you five dollars or teach you how to make five dollars or? better yet teach you how to attract five dollars from the comfort of your home you see wow. people aren't asking the right questions what am I? why does she blame other nations for the problem that africa had forever she's quick to point fingers at colonizers but never address african leaders who are corrupt to the core but I do address no, African no, no, leaders. No, 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 but no. I mean, no, this is one thing. It's good. That, okay, I, you know, I, I'm not agreeing with that. But I think there's a question I can pull out of that. It's like, um, uh, yes, I do call out corrupt leaders. But what we have to understand is we were put in a system that turned Africa into a resource colony. And so we've always been, it's like you're doing, it's like when you run a relay and you give someone a head start. We're mm. always at the very, very back, you know? And so it's always an unfair race and there's so much that needs to be done. And one of the thing is, I'm not against Mzungus, white people, um, but I'm for black people. And my whole thing is that the colonizers have not done, like, by the way, do you know Britain, Britain has never apologized, even to Ghana, for yeah. taking slaves? No, never. So how, what? You, one, um, do you currently have a job outside the Dr. Mumbi show? No. And uh, <laughs> saying, can I marry her? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, there's this guy, he writes about, he's like, go get married every, every show. He's like, go get married. But like, yeah, I didn't, anyway. Dr. Mumbi, your final words for the people who watch your videos. Um, thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for supporting Wodemaya, Miss Trudy, and just all the African, you know, YouTubers that are really trying to bring our story. Because I keep saying we have to own our narrative. Exactly. And you guys, the playing field is so big. It's so big. No one can be a Wodemaya. No one can be a Dr. Mumbi. So don't feel that you have to copy paste. So that's what I would say, you know. Um, with my videos, stop being so sensitive. May it trigger something. And if you get emotional, that says more about you than it says about me. You know, if I tell you that Dr. Mumbi is controversial, <laughs> you just have to agree with me. But sometimes I think she voices out the truth. Be creative out there, do your own thing, and we're all going to support the movement. This is how it is. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, still here in the Middle Kingdom. Is that Middle Kingdom or Middle Forest? Middle of the forest, man. Karura, <laughs> Karura Forest. <laughs> I'm going to see you in the next one. If you have any questions to ask the Kumumbi, don't forget to leave a comment and just let me know. I'll see you in South Africa. I am Maya. Peace out. Mwah.